We might as well have called Zinedine Zidane. We could have even been the victim of a huge prank in front of the whole of France. A phone call that will go down in history. Number one. In 2005, an impersonator passed himself off as the French president at the time, Jacques Chirac. He asked Zidane if the players could put their hands on their hearts during the national anthem, La Marseillaise. And this was for a crucial qualifying match in the 2006 World Cup. As you can see, Zidane fell for it. Number two. Do you remember who won the English League in 1992? Leeds United? Wrong! It was Eric Cantona in a Leeds jersey. Sir Alex Ferguson felt that King Eric would be good for Manchester United. So, he called Cantona to convince him to sign for United. A good move, because with Cantona, the club won four Premier League titles in five years and would have surely won a fifth if he hadn't been suspended for his high kick. There was a clear difference before and after Cantona arrived. What if Sir Alex had never made this call? What would Manchester have become? Number 3. Ronaldo had an amazing first season at FC Barcelona. 49 matches, 47 goals. Despite an eight-year contract, Barca and R9 renegotiated at the end of his first year. Except a call changed everything. We wrote up the document with the player and his agents. It was 3 p.m. and we decided to go and eat lunch to celebrate Ronaldo's extension, then return to the office and sign the agreement. We even cracked open the champagne. But during lunch, one of the agents left the restaurant to make a call. It was Inter Milan at the other end of the phone who the agent made a very profitable deal with. If we hadn't eaten, Ronaldo would have stayed at Barcelona. Number 4 in 2005, Ronaldinho proved that he could also work wonders with a telephone. Before the Clasico against Real Madrid, he lied to the entire FC Barcelona locker room. He called his teammates in the middle of the night and told them, I'm going to leave Barca. I've made a deal with Real Madrid. It's an incredible offer I can't refuse. You're young, you can understand. But don't tell anyone. Don't betray me. I trust you. Good night. The day of the Clasico, Ronnie spoke in front of the whole locker room. We have a very important match, but in these last few days, I discovered that we were a family. I called each of you in the night and told you that I was leaving, but no one said anything. I realized that we were prepared to suffer in silence rather than betray each other. I'll stay here a long time. Now, let's teach Real a lesson. The result? Barca won 3-0 with a Ronaldinho double. Number 5. In 2006, the Calciopoli scandal was exposed in Italy. It specifically concerned Juventus, AC Milan, and Inter Milan. In this complicated affair, there was no proof of match fixing. There was talk of unsuccessful fraud. But remember that it was the leaking of telephone calls that made the affair so sensitive. So much so that it changed Juventus and Inter's title counts. Juve lost two titles and were demoted to Serie B. For their part, Inter got back one of the two lost titles. The other stayed absent. Number 6. When Lucas Hernandez hadn't yet chosen which country to represent, Spain were very insistent. The Spanish coach wanted him and called him nearly every day, so I decided to call the coach. A brilliant idea because Hernandez was crucial for France during the 2018 World Cup. 